Hello, Identity 5 gamers. Today, we get to check out some awesome tournament footage once again. But I am not alone. As you can see, I have a very spooky guest to my left here. This is my good friend, Zeus IDV. You want to say hello, buddy? What if I did it? No, stop. Hello, everyone. <laughs> just dead silence for like 10 seconds. Just like, dead, great. Viewer attention. Woo. Like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> dead silence. Just crickets. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, thank you, as always, Ease, for having me on. And um, if you guys are obviously like if you guys came from first part, uh, you know that this is part two. Ooh, yeah. Part two of the sets of matches. We're going to be going over and seeing how the set ends. I'm uh, I'm hoping that maybe uh, Kuga can actually cook instead of what we saw in the previous matches because they were kind of sad. Not going to lie. Yeah. We'll, we'll hopefully get to see some cooking. Uh, but yeah, again, if you didn't see the first part, you can go check it out on Zeus's channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. So definitely make sure to check that out. Subscribe, like, do all that awesome things onto Zeus's channel. And I think with that, we're ready to get into the matches. All right, and here we are to the second half of round two. Finally didn't mess that one up, by the way, when we do these part one, part two vids. <laughs> we're gonna see Geisha versus Entomologist, Aeroplanist, Mercenary, and Psychologist. So Geisha actually getting playtime on the Japanese side of things. We don't really see Geisha that much on the JP server. They, they don't really like Geisha the way CN does, which is kind of funny. Considering yeah. that JP likes to experiment a lot and Geisha is very like clunky and experimental with how her dashes can work sometimes. So you would think they would like, you know, the RNG aspect that is Geisha. Yeah, I, I totally get that. that. That is an interesting point that you bring up with uh, with Geisha, how finicky her things are. We already see bees posted up, uh, but she uh, <laughs> completely uh, ignores. I didn't even know that was a butterfly dashed. basement. What the she, heck? She just decides to dash through physics. Well, I already learned something new about Geisha today. I did not know you could put a butterfly there. Wow. Uh, but is opting to chase the uh, aeroplane. This has a butterfly on him, so he could potentially cancel the dash here. Still has all the jetpacks work. Oh, are we going to see a jetpack? Nope. Just going to take the hit. Wow. That was actually a really late skill check reaction from the quote-unquote Wolves 11 over here. But bees are posted up and ready. We're hitting bees once, not hitting them again. We are going to see jetpack from Charles over here now, heading over to this god pallet area near cabin. But now we see that a butterfly is ready. We can see it. We also see Blink is up as well. Um, kind of just skill touching. Yeah, force Blink maybe. Yeah, yeah, there's the Blink. All right, so you at least go down to Blink, but that, that last Cypher, I believe, that's the uh, Entomologist Cypher. The bees didn't really extend the kite too much. I feel like bees extending first kite, especially when a hunter has Blink, is maybe not that good for uh, uh, an Entomologist support, at least in my opinion. But, you know, these are the pros, so they would know better than I. Yeah, I don't think that. Blink is not the worst. Uh, oh, that was interesting. That just puts a butterfly on the cypher just to maybe uh, scare somebody to force them off the cypher for a second or something. Uh, Charles still does have uh, two jetpacks hover, so we could see uh, a potential rebound here. But at the same time, it is a geisha. So as much distance mm. as he gets, she can catch up pretty quickly. He is gonna be chasing over at the corner house now. He still has jetpacks and flywheel. Yeah, okay, he does flywheel. I would just say maybe you want to just drop pallet pack hover, like right now. Like yeah, where, right where else now. is he gonna go? Unless he just wants to save it for another rebound. But oh, oh they're no, there beautiful is. waiting. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh wow, could yo? Could you imagine if that was a terror shock? I that was that was so. I can't believe she followed the whole way. So first the cats can do it, and now the geisha can do it. I I, I think I gotta say it, dude. I think besides Wildling, I think Aeroplanus has got to be like the most goofy survivor. Like he has the funniest interaction in this whole game. Besides Wildling, w Wildling looks so goofy too. But like I, I think it's got to be uh, both of those two that it just have to be the goofiest, weirdest uh, survivors in the game. Survivors ever that can just do things second chair he has one more pack and uh the cyphers are at 36 and 17 18 20 like they 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 can maybe have a four-man end game right here i was really hoping for ahd to uh get terror shocked because it would have been funny wait the mercy. He, oh i thought he's gonna try and maybe okay, get on the tram but the tram is already yeah. on the way yeah i thought they were about to get hit by the tram so we're gonna we're gonna need to see some some sort of support or something because i don't think uh aeroplanists can survive much longer Ooh, here oh oh beautiful jetpack though 
Oh. Psychologist here to try and eat a hit. I don't think it's gonna be enough. No flywheel. That's it. No. No. That was a. It was a. It was a beautiful jetpack. Then it turned into a, a jetpack. <laughs> Just a regular, regular jetpack. It uh, turned Lewis? into a regular. regular Did you see that puppet on the guy? that Lewis, bro? <laughs> yeah. Lewis? Is that is that you, bro? I, that is a. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, the aeroplane is death, though, and now she can share a mercenary on the cypher, too. Now, if I remember correctly, Dreamwitch did, in fact, end up getting a draw on the survivors, last one, on the LM serves. So, the, um, the LM hunter right now, if they want to win, they need to get a three-man, and they're kind of in a tough position a little bit. Because they have the final cipher at 60, but also they kind of are chaired on the final cipher. So pr pressure the cipher. Hello. Pressure She's not even doing it. Yo, I think, I think that's Kong Ho Melly. Yo, Kong Ho Melly's go to. She's just going for it. Not even going to pressure the cipher. Opposite flywheel psychologist. Interesting. I actually don't see psychologist flywheel too often. All right. This is a tied position now. They can all just rush the cipher at this point. But she didn't go to the cipher to push the person decoding at a plus 125. Nah, she knows Kong Melee is too powerful. Let's go. I think this Just is actually the first time I've seen Kong Melee no, play the tournament. To Wait, switch to abnormal right here. No, she's not going to. She's up. She just wants the mercenary for some reason. And they just we're fought. In, oh, we're what? in Workerby. We're in Workerby. What is we that? We are in Workerby. Nah, was that, was that a blink prediction? What even was that? I don't know what that was. All I know is that we are not in competitive. We are in Workerby. I Bro. like how the chat. I, I, I know the. I, I know for viewers when you can't see this, but the chat right now is just like the chat replay is literally just question mark, question mark, question mark, <laughs> question mark, question mark. <laughs> the teleport. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Teleports uh, over. Gates already open. Melly is going back over for the rescue. Will she beat the geisha? There's a chance she might. I think the power she will. of Kong Ho Melly. Come on now. This is still I just a tied game at this Juan point because like we have to. They have to get all the way to the other side able to get the rescue but oh elbow pad no. beautiful elbow pads through now uh ento is stuck at corner house has no more elbow pads and oh skill check just to buy a little bit more time yeah we're good we're good we're good and that's it wow he got launched yeah entomology looks like she's heading her way toward the dungeon but oh oh he's gonna slug out so that way that she can't get dungeon now she has to kite to the gate and because she's heading towards graveyard dungeon she now has to go all the way around yeah. Which really sucks for her. And uh, against a Geisha, that's going to be tough, especially since she's out of bees, so she can't use any, like, bee mind games. Maybe we'll open up a chest here in Graveyard for something. It's not tough when she leaves. It isn't tough when she just leaves. Yeah, and also detention is about to run out, so I, I think that's just it. I think I think she just didn't yeah. know where the Kong Ho Melly was, so... Woo, Kong Ho Melly <laughs> gets out! I usually see Melly's die all the time whenever I watch them in tournament, but let's go! I actually get to see uh, this awesome Eskin uh, Melly escape. Let's go. Well, that's another tie, yep. Yeah, this is the fourth draw in a row, I think, actually. Well, I'm at least glad Melly got out. That, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> On to the next match, first half of round three. We're going to see Dreamwitch going up against a really exciting comp, if you ask me. We've got Entomologist, Wildling, Aeroplanist, and Cheerleader. And Cheerleader can do some very funny shenanigans with all three of these characters. Reduce Melly's bees cooldown to exactly to when they need to be ready. Uh, she can make Charles use hover and then use two jetpacks to gain an insane amount of distance and can also reduce the boar's cooldown. Um, I believe, unless it's just the tinnitus part or the tinnitus masking of the uh, boar ability. I actually don't know how it works with uh, Wildling and Chiller, but regardless, it could be really, really interesting to see. Yep, tinnitus masking is kicking in. We are going to see she's heading over towards. She is going to end up chasing Kong Ho Melly. Wow. Oh, That's baby. That's that she could. Patroller is going to be used. We are going to see the builds. We're going to see a. Uh... Tide, we are going to see Tide borrow time on the Wildling. Ento does have Flywheel. Cheerleader is on standard broken windows. And Aeroplanus is also running Tide Turner. What? Okay, forcing uh, yeah, a Yeah, Yep. Good work, okay, good work. That's okay. This might be a little scuffed, though, because of Patroller right here. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, poor Melly is not going to be able to do too much here. It just goes around. Flywheel is not up yet. Oh, one second oh, away. That's damn, such a fast down. Preventing the chair with bees a little bit, but she's gonna lose so much of the bees here. That's a lot of bees gone. That is very unfortunate for uh, for poor Melly there. Um, that was a very quick down from uh, the hunter right there from BMC right there. But yeah. Do you, do you think that was a bad transition because she kind of just cornered herself? I kind of I kind of think it was a bad transition. I feel like maybe she should have transitioned over towards middle where 
I think, like, I don't think it was bad for her to, like, you know, use that loop a little bit. But I think if she was going to loop it, she should have looped it maybe back around towards Tunnel or closer towards, to the head towards Connected, maybe. Yeah, I would, I would like to see get up in, like, the two-star area because Melee is actually pretty good there. I mean, obviously, Patroller is a thing, but you can, like, bait swings with bees so much in this area. Oh, oh, yo, Jerry? You can't catch her on the flying the butterfly? Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> she stalled that out a good amount. And All she right. is completely out of bees now. That is sad it's to see well, for me. No cheerleader. Oh, fly with the bite here. though. It's not gonna be yeah, enough. That's, but she's gonna die. Yep. No, Melly. <laughs> oh well, well, Zeus. You know how you said last match all you see is Entos die. Yeah, man, man. It's oh, happening, man. man. This is actually looking really good for the Dreamwitch, though. I cannot lie. Uh, one cipher done. And the thing is, like you said, Dream Ball is a, a dream Dream Ball. <laughs> dream Witch is a dream Snowball ball. character, not Dream Ball. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. And now she's gonna Snowball because um, once she gets this uh, entomologist down, she can start pressuring ciphers, and then yeah, l nobody's on a cipher at this point. Yeah, the the patrollers are just going crazy. I don't even know what they do here. The rise of Dream Witch needs to be studied. Yeah, Question hold mark? on now. Like they're, like you mentioned, they're really behind on ciphers right now. Like thirty. Wait, hold on. Did he cancel patroller with that? No, I want to say I want to say he didn't because he when he came back down he was on bite. I want to say that he didn't. Oh, yeah. They just opt to sell the entomologist as well. I, I this is looking like a potential four K actually. They're far behind on ciphers. The dream which is already full presence. The only thing that's like giving them a saving grace is that she only has two leeches on the field right now that's true um and it looks like they're all just kind of rotating to try and stay away from her but the ciphers they are really just far behind right now um and they're then their resources are starting to get a little bit dwindled um like obviously like wildling just has like a recharge one so does cheerleader but charles only has one more jetpack and still has his tide turner which is nice but yeah i don't really know what they're gonna do here Oh, blink. Swapping to the blink. Wow. Just wanted the down. Yep. This is the most common thing we see with Dream Witch. Well, mainly for her competitive history that we've seen over the course of like the last five years. Yeah, just patrol her into blink and then just snowball from there. And, uh, yep. Make it absolute hell for them. Yeah, we do see that Dungeon is in the restaurant area, but uh, even then... I don't really know what they can do here. The tide, the, the character with Tide, which would actually help them out here, is the one on the chair. Wildling's already used up his Tide here. Probably just going to get forced off boar while Cheerleader is decoding. And while it is good that they have somebody on a Cypher, Cheerleader does have a 10% decoding debuff. And gets the rescue, hits the Wildling. Okay, we could see something here. One jetpack to work the with. Let's see what you got, buddy. Over to chase is over. You're heading over to Chase 11. Are we going to see the swap to 11? Yes, we are. Ooh, that was some nice movement to uh, kind of juke and then go back toward the pallet. But Blink is up in 18 seconds. They might just uh, they might just wait for the Blink and then just down him here. Or pincer him. <sighs> yeah, it looks like it's a pincer here. This is going to be a really close one right here. Ove is able to vault. You know, they still have two more ciphers that they need to work on, though. And yeah, 11 is going to go down right here. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is looking like a hard potential 4K. Cheerleader's the only one can rescue and she got forced off her cypher, so now she needs to use her beep beeps for herself. Yep, baits one out immediately. That was good, yeah. And it didn't even have to use the blink for it, too. Could have actually got the hit if she maybe blinked, but probably just wanted to, uh, you know, th threaten the blink there. Uh, puts the uh, aeroplanes back into the chair, and uh, yeah, this is this is just not good, yeah. it's It was just that first kite, that, that melee, she just went down so fast. And so died first against a dream witch chat and are we cooked? <laughs> <laughs> are we cooked? Alright, good rescue from the cheerleader right there, but now it's prompt to chase the cheerleader. Maybe not chairing the wildling actually. Gonna set up maybe a, a little pincer over there on the cheerleader as we have two leeches heading over towards that tunnel window area right here. Now at the lantern gates. Chairing now the wildling and no one can rescue, yeah. They have the play for a one man here, but BMC out here showing off. Dream Witch power on the default skin too, which is funny. Blinks down 11. 
Trillid is gonna have to cook up some crazy stuff if she wants to get this uh this one mana escape, but I just I just don't think it's gonna happen. Like Blink is almost back up. There's a leech at the chair, so even if you avoid this leech, it's like what are you gonna do? It's it's just over at this point. Two whole ciphers. They're going for it. They're trying, but Rob, they're gonna make it because the follower got stuck. Wait, they do actually manage to hit off the wildling. Yeah, he couldn't get on Pumba in time oh, and oh. Pilot Mind Game. There's the blink. Oh, Misses the huh? blink. Huh? <laughs> Bro? What is that? I said, it, I said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> if, if that, that was, me, was yeah. me. If that was me. <sighs> that was Terror I'm, Shock. <laughs> that was a Terror Shock. Not even that blink would have hit me. Not yep. the wall. I mean, they might need this luck here, but that's, yeah, even with that lucky Miss Blink, it's just not going to be enough. Tilda's got no pom-poms, no Inspire, no nothing. She just walked through that pallet. That's insane. And yeah, this is a 4K. That's it, man. This is a 4K, man. Yeah, unless that boar starts learning how to decode, I think it's all over. <laughs> Coagulant needs to learn. Just needs to generate some opposable thumbs there. Attempting to heal uh, Aeroplanus, but... The main body's gonna be here soon. She can't leech yet, which is funny. Yeah, she can't leech. It's just, I don't even know what they're supposed to do here. I don't Is this gonna be a match that just goes on for like 20 minutes where we just see the constant um, bleed Leeching out? Yeah, ble <laughs> or just uh, bleed out, pick up, struggle free, kill, <laughs> all, all that kind of shenanigans that we've seen some other uh, Japanese hunters do that are extremely desperate for 4Ks. But now Charles has already used up the self heal, but. I don't know if she knows that. He's trying that. to desperately find it. No, I think she does. I, I would assume she does because he picked himself up to D-Leech because oh, there was no one right. around. So she should know that he has no self heal. So she's just going to chase him, down him. He just stays wherever he is. Oh, wait, she's trapped by the... <laughs> the main... Yeah, fun fact, though, kids. Main body for Dream Witch actually blocks off the spawn followers. It it actually does count as a physical object for her, so it's really funny. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some people do like some window body blocks with the uh, the main body as well. It's pretty interesting to see what uh, people go for here. Um, and while while a cipher is being worked on, I just I don't really know if it's enough, right? <laughs> Unless we see the craziest draw ever, in which. I mean, then, then, then I'd have a title thumbnail, bro, with the follow-up yep, Dream Witch. Uh, Dream Witch. But the Blink is I back up in 10 seconds, so I don't know. Nah, bro, in ten, 10 seconds, she can get another Cypher to uh, Prime. Yeah, come on. No, we're good, dude. Look at that Look at that one she at just, 8%. She, we'll be fine. Yeah, she should. There's she, the Blink, she and to, boom. And, yep. There it cooked. is. Uh, without that trait, honestly, there is a chance, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> just blinks with the main body, cause why not? <laughs> you just gotta, just gotta cut that. Hey, man, you gotta cut that distance, bro. You gotta, you gotta cut that distance. Oh, it sets up the leech. Yup. Yeah. Now, nah, yeah, oh, this man, is she's it. Cooked. She's, she's getting yeah. pincered. It's all over. You can try. You can try to use that witch's mark, but it's just not gonna help. Two beep beeps. Charles no self heal. She's super far away. Blink is up. It's it's GGS. And that's the four K. Dream Witch, I was unfamiliar with your game. <laughs> the rise of Dream Witch needs Dream to be Witch. studied. Be studied. <laughs> <laughs> you have your titles. -y. Oh man, I'm I'm so sad about that Ento though. I really am. I know. That's that's an average me versus like any good player moment though, to be fair. But man, I wanted to see your cook. Alright. All right. So here In we the have next a match, clerk. we have Clerk going yeah, up against Patient Female Dancer and a Mercenary. Woo, we did it. Well, that was fun. Yeah, so, that, was, uh, that was. Kuga does indeed need to get like a 4K here uh, for them to even stand a chance. And with Clerk on Chinatown. I kind of don't see how that happens. Right. Uh, opting to chase the mercenary first? Are we just going to circle around the tree? Oh, no, never mind. I will pass nope, immediately. Nope. He's having none of that. that restaurant area. He doesn't want any of those problems. We see a window recording up, up, blocked up, off. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Oh, Bro, we're no back in way. worker B. 
Worker this is worse. <laughs> call, call, call me Jinxie, bro. Oh my so we're god. In worker B. We're in Worker All right. B. Alright, yo, guys, guys, guys. Yo, you got stop farming. You're, yo, you are a presence I'm farm right now. Presence, oh bro, my gosh. The chat right now is terror shocked. Question mark. Question mark. Question nah. mark. Th listen. Li okay. Straight up. Straight up. This merc did worse than the last Ento in the last round. Actually, it's actually crazy. Like at least, at least the other, at least Melly forced out like t traits and whatnot. But yeah. man, that 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 was. What what do I even say? I mean, if they need a 4K, I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ooh. And that's their only character with Tied, too. Mercenaries have a long chair time, but Clerk can pressure off these ciphers. Sell? No, they, they can't even afford to sell, because if they yeah. sell, they'll actually just secure it. But now she just, like, catches up to him. And, I don't know. Me, personally, I think, actually, I just would have straight auto-blinked right after. I think he would have hit. Dance is, is, has slow boxes set up in middle. She just avoids them, though, so it's not like they really do much. TBH. Yeah. Are those even good spots for boxes? I guess if you, like, run towards that area, maybe, but... Oh, but she's not, yeah. Why do we have fast back? Why do we have fast back? <laughs> Why? Why do we have fast back? <laughs> fast box. You're, you're the number one fast box hater, I swear, dude. Oh, here we can see Blink. Blink, Blink, Blink. Box. Drop down Blink. Oh, beautiful work. Oh, wow. Steps into the slow box, but got the drop down hit, so that's all that matters. Yeah. She's picking up the fast box. Slow box. She picked up the slow box and the fast box. Uh, yeah, she has two boxes here. Gonna chair basement? Are we really basementing Probably. here? Probably. Huh. Yeah, I guess why not? This was, the, this was the mercenary of mercenaries. I think this was the best merc I've ever seen. They have all five ciphers at 50% though, which is kind of funny. That is really weird. Yep. And she's decreasing uh, partially one of them. And chair near the, the dancer here. Where is the dancer actually? Did she transition out or is she? Oh, she, I see her. She's in. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's, she's on up top there. Of hotel. Yep. You can see her in the bottom left there. Yo, dancer rescue because no balls. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it's a bad idea though. Merc has no rebound potential. Ideally, don't rescue, just sell here and pray to God that Dancer can kite long enough if she so chooses to chase a Dancer over here. She probably won't though. But they do have ciphers technically. Like 60, 50, 50, 70, 40. Like that isn't bad. They just haven't popped yet. So it's giving the illusion that they're, you know, their cipher progress is behind when in reality it isn't. Yeah, I, I, that's happened to me in a couple ranked matches where I've just seen like pop, 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 and I start getting terrified. It's like, oh my gosh, I thought I was doing well. But as it turns out, it's just so many ciphers are, you know, at just such They're high about. percentages there. And uh, yeah. and it's interesting that like the female dancer clerk matchup is uh, a bit interesting because female dancer can't drop pallets over her uh, boxes or else can't clerk just like bring them back up with recording, I feel like. Yeah, if she records you dropping, she can just record it back up. Which is why typically you don't want to spam pallets against her clerk or have pallets pre-dropped against the clerk when you're facing her. Because then she'll just take those free pallets as recordings. Slowbox set up again. That's the good sh**. Yeah. That's the thing Did we just we break like. it? Yeah. yeah. Just going to break it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just straight breaks it. Yeah. She still, has, she still has one box here. Probably just picked it up now that she's transitioning over toward the uh, the dancer. But the ciphers are looking okay. Mm -hmm. The the rotation is actually really good. Really, really Mercenary good. is yeah. getting carried here. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're popping ciphers now left and right. They have cipher 80, 50, 60, 60, drops a slow box. Slow box saves lives. If you uh if you uh, used your twirl, the slow box would have helped you, my friending. But Yeah, I don't know why they flywheeled there instead of uh using a little bit of a spin. But did indeed take the hit anyway, so kind of useless right there. Left her last slow box over there. Clerk did not opt to break it, so maybe she, she can go pick it back up. Yeah, that looks like she's what she's going to do down the bottom left there. Uh, but she's just pressuring the ciphers, it looks like, right now. Cypher 79, 69, yeah. This is actually interesting. Uh, uh, wow. Drops that a fast box. Yo, fast box. Why is there a fast box? Why is there a fast box? Why is there a fast box? Why? Is there a fast box? Why? Why? Why are we using fast box in 2024 Identity V, huh? <laughs> What is this? Oh boy. We're in copper now. Yeah, brings it back up. Blink. Just blink. Just blink. Force him out of the Okay, don't even need it. I thought I was gonna blink force him out of the hook, but I guess not. I guess yeah. she does have the trump card so she can go for the teleport, but this that after such I a mean, good start, really, I mean the, the ciphers yeah. are 
they're catching up to her now. Only like, one more left. Popped and they have one more that's at 75. Like, she just got Cypher rushed and rotated. The survivors did a good job at kiting while not kiting on each other's Cyphers, and that's the saving grace of this. Because yeah. if, if they were kiting, but they kited on each other's Cyphers, that would give the clerk more free reign to just swap targets back and forth. But they don't even need to bother healing, nothing. They can just pop whenever they still choose, yeah. Hey, look at this. Cypher is at 99. Cypher is prime now. Hits, and that's pop, it. They pop. Yeah. Wow. This is wow. going to be a tie. It's going to be a draw. And that, that if, since this is most likely a draw, that does mean that LM will end up taking the win here. Because LM only needed a one-man elimination to begin with. I mean, a one-man escape to begin with. They needed nothing more. Yeah, that's right. And Dungeon is here, too. I mean, they're not going to get it. Obviously, the clerk has blink wow doesn't even a need terror it shock when the match started at this window and a terror <laughs> shock when it ends at this window yo this is just not their window i guess what the heck not that it really matters oh, though because that is uh that is the game that is just a tie even after that mercenary throwing and at the very Merc start threw, bro I don't, I don't even know i guess they just really brought it back after that and that's they, it well they they locked in they sat up in the gaming chair they said nope <laughs> here's the blink <laughs> <laughs> all right well yeah that's it um is the winner that is indeed it i guess uh the the rise of dream witch needs to be studied yeah. i i guess it's interesting because we've been seeing a lot of dream witch games recently she's just a good but inconsistent i guess at this point like she can get 4ks but she can also get four escaped it really just depends on how good on how much the other side capitalizes on one another like that dream witch match she was able to capitalize on so many mistakes the short kite the free hits the over supporting and the, most of all the lack of cypher progress right and because of all that she would they didn't get they didn't get a single chance to reset to delete each heal etc like they were just in a really bad position and she took advantage of that yeah, and I guess, like, if you're playing well, at least with the Dream Witch, you can, like, almost guarantee a tie. So, at that point, I guess Dream Witch maybe hasn't necessarily just fallen off. Because it takes a lot of work to battle one. And uh, yeah. if you can secure ties a good amount of the time, at least you're on par with all, like, the other tie hunters. It just depends on if you can get the ball rolling enough to make it more into a 3k or a 4k. Which I guess is why we still see Dream Witch play being played so much. Uh, even sometimes being played in round one instead of Opera Singer, so... It's interesting. It's interesting to see where the meta is at right now. Where not just Opera Singer is like the only pick that people really want to go for round one anymore. Yeah. Well, everybody, those are the games. Very, very fun games, if you ask me. Uh, once again, if you want to see the first half of this video, uh, be sure to go and check out the link in the description uh, to Zeus's channel. We check out three matches there, just like we did in today's video. So please show him support. Uh, I believe he's trying to reach 3K subscribers before when exactly was it? Remind me again. Um, not 3K anymore. I'm trying to hit 5K before June. That, that's Ooh, my goal right that's now. That's right. I'm that's right. Okay, the new goal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's 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 uh see if we can uh make him uh give him a little boost to uh try and get that goal done. So yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I uh, I hope you enjoyed the match, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, anything else to say, Zeus, before we uh, head off? What the heck? Whoa, that I just saw a firework. <laughs> yeah, I think that yeah, was the clerk. Just, what the heck? Yo, <laughs> yo, she just came in out of nowhere. Like, I swear. But uh, yeah, um, thank you as always for having me uh, to our viewers. Um, I hope you all did enjoy said video. So make sure uh, not just to subscribe to me, but subscribe to our host Zs over here. You know, get him to 20K before the end of this month. Totally. Totally. <laughs> Oh boy. He has to do that 20 hour identity V stream if he hits 20k. So, yup, you know? yup. Yup, yup. That's the, that's the motivation. 20 hours of identity V. Yeah, baby. 20 hours. <laughs> anyway. Out for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, literally, dude. Probably. I'll have to like pre record like three videos in a row just to have stuff for the next day. I don't even know. Oh, it'll be an interesting time when that day comes. But either way. Like I said, that's going to be it for us. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again. Uh, we'll see you all later, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.